Hey, it's Mike from Party of Four Crafts back again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a dashed or dotted line in Inkscape for Glowforge or any laser that uses light burn. It sounds like it should be an easy thing to do, but if you do a dotted line in Inkscape and then you try to load it to the Glowforge app, you get an error message. The error message the error message will say, this design contains a dashed line style. The dashed lines have been changed into solid lines because Glowforge just doesn't like dashed lines. So you have to do that another way. I was making this memorial heart plant marker and I needed the dashed line to go around the rest of the heart. And so I figured out how to do this and now I'll share that with you. So to begin with, we're just going to use the pen to draw a line. You could do this with other things, any kind of path you can convert into a dashed or a dotted line. So normally you just come over to the fill and stroke and choose, let's say we'll choose dotted line. You could turn up the width to make those dots bigger and that would be it. But if you save this and load it into the Glowforge app, you'll get that error message and it won't work. So the next step people usually try is to go path object to path and now if you click on it it's now converted those to path but you load this and it won't work either but there's an extension that's built into inkscape that most people don't know about if you go down to modify path and convert to dashes this just changed and now you can see each one of those dots now has its own nodes that that you can modify at this point, it will work in the Glowforge, but it still won't work in Lightburn. And if you're selling files on Etsy, a lot of your users are using Lightburn, so you need to be able to fix that. Easy way to fix it. If you load this into Lightburn, it'll say that it's not a closed path, but the fill is turned on and it just won't let you do it. So all you have to do is go path, stroke to path, and now it converts them each to individual closed shapes and it'll now work in Lightburn. Now that it's at this point, you can no longer really edit the line to change the shape of the line, but you can do a path break apart and then you can edit each one of the, the dots individually. You can delete one if you want, or you can grab one and, and move it somewhere if you wanted to, to change it, but you can no longer just bend the line by moving the nodes anymore. So that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a few steps, but it's not that difficult. Hopefully it'll save you some headaches of trying to figure that out on your own. All right. I'd love to hear your comments. Post them down in the comment section. And if you have any questions or any ideas for future topics for videos, just let me know. Thanks for joining me and click the subscribe button so you see when the next video comes out. Thanks.